Hey guys, New Hampshire Hobby Logger here. And uh, this is an update on our gasifier and our off-the-grid system that we're, uh, we've got going so far. Last night I did a uh, test run of our new uh, Left for Dead Honda and hooked to an alternator. And uh, that was a success. We made electricity. We were charging a, a little small battery uh, that we had uh, just to test it and everything. So today is going to be a kind of a walk through, uh, give you guys an idea of what we've got going here. It's a, uh, everything is separated right now. Eventually we're going to um, figure out a floor plan so we can kind of get it all together, even if it's in module uh, states so we can, um, you know, easily transport it, move it into position and uh, set up to run. So I think what I'm going to do is I'll just go over some of this stuff here with you and show you where we're, where we're at. We have uh, eight batteries, deep cycle batteries. I think we're some, running somewhere around 700 and something uh, amp hours on it. Uh, I've had these for oh, a year, year and a half now. Have, I, I used it once when the uh, lost power down here and I had to keep the circulator going for the outdoor furnace. Uh, we've got a... Uh, Brand new, hardly used, 3000 watt Sam Lex uh, pure sine wave inverter. And uh, this is going to eventually be uh, able to run the house, or a good part of it. Uh, do a lot of off-grid stuff. We're going to trade off with uh, public service now and then, tell them how much I appreciate their business. And, and But we're, you know, we're, we'll do what we can. Um, we're trying to get ourselves organized so we can get... Uh, things moved rapidly into deployment here and uh, gain the upper hand when we lose power. Uh, always been able to do it, but we got a bunch of different things going on. So anyhow, here's the fuel we're going to use today. These are uh, wood chips that I've uh, run through uh, uh, our uh, tree chipper there, or our brush chipper. And I kind of sort things out a little bit. I've screened them once, so it's uh, the bigger chunks. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And here's uh, the mighty furnace, the gasifier. Right now it's uh, shut in the shutdown mode. We haven't even started it yet. And uh, this is, uh, I've been uh, tinkering around with this quite a bit lately while well, work is slow. And we're getting it uh, dialed in so we know what it's doing, we know what to expect. And one of the things I have noticed is if, uh, if I clean the grate out beforehand, I just tip it right upside down. I unchain it, tip it right upside down, get all the stuff out of it. Poke a little bit down in there just to get it started and I light it right through the port now. <clears throat> Some of you had seen me before I just throw in a bucket of hot coals out of the furnace and that does it But uh, I want to be able to uh, not have to depend on outside sources for anything So this is pretty much a closed loop system right now um, I don't uh, I always have to check the first primary flare coming from the from the wood hopper And it goes through this cyclone and up through here you can see we've been drooling a little bit now and then testing different fuels and sawdust and things like that and it does have its preferences uh, so we've been uh, um, uh, that's what we're going to check at first and we have a shutoff valve right there that's open the open position right at the moment for this uh, 12 volt bilge pump blower that's in here that's going to check our primary and once we're making a good flare we're going to switch over to the filters with this other big ball valve right there and we'll close the the one on here to go into the cyclone we'll open that one up and our blower outside the little guy right there was going to do uh, we'll plug that in uh, when we're ready for it and um, that'll pull the gas through the through our filter system this is all designed by our good friend and Patriot American Flash 001 USA. So this is his design. So what I'm going to try to show you is that I am totally not dependent upon anything other than a little bit of ingenuity. A lot of good friends that have uh, helped me uh, try to figure out some of this stuff and we're doing the same for them. So every one of these videos helps them out. It helps me out because I get feedback all the time from Folks saying you ought to try this, you ought to try that, and I do, and by God, some of it really works, and and uh, just like me, sometimes I don't work. So, uh, but anyhow, the first thing I'm going to do, is I'm going to go and turn on the uh, inverter. Um, those batteries were fully charged there a week ago, 
So they've been just kind of sitting. Now the, the, the idea that I want to do is I have, before I get going here, um, these wires right here. They're coming from the alternator. That's a 100 amp uh, alternator that I had made for this thing. It'll take a lot of heat. It's a long lived kind of thing there. I got a shut off switch so I don't uh, oh, put any power out until I'm all hooked up and ready so we don't have a lot of sparks going on or, or uh, false lows. So the order of the, the run up is gonna be to start the, uh, start the primary blower which is right over there on the primary side. We're gonna do that right off of the um, inverter. So we don't have to depend. Usually I have a battery charger hooked to it, which is laying on the floor, plugged into that little outlet over there. And we're gonna bypass that today. Everything is gonna be dependent upon the batteries uh, to run them, to get everything started, including that big blower down there. That's 115. Uh, volts and uh, it was wired 230 we changed it to 115 and that will start with this uh, Samlex um, So we're gonna Start this right now. We'll plug that start it up We got the green lights. There's no load on it right now. So we've got uh, status is good. The input level is good and uh, We're good to go. So we're Okay, one thing I anticipate, which is uh, generally a good sign for me, believe it or not, is uh, once it starts to get hot enough in, the, in there to start making some gas, um, I try to light the flare and it seems to almost want to light, and then all of a sudden it backfires and it, it uh, rattles the, 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 the hopper uh, hood there, and we get some uh, uh, little, little puff back from that. And then all of a sudden it just seems to clear itself out. It's like, almost like it has heartburn and all of a sudden it just coughs a little bit and uh, all of a sudden everything settles down. I don't know if it cleans out the, 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 you know, the airflow through the grate and up, up through the hearth and the restriction zone. I'm not quite sure what happens there, but uh, every time it happens, I get a good run afterwards. So I'm, I'm hoping it does it. I'm trying to start the same way I always have. And... Uh, uh, and uh, that's, that's what I'm looking for. So I'm going to try to put a little, uh, I got about three bucket loads of, uh, or three little coffee cans of, of chips in there. Uh, it's starting to smoke a little better now. So she must be, uh, must be doing something right. So we're going to light it and see, uh, I did get just a little bit of a, a light there earlier. But I mean, we've only been a couple minutes into this, so can't expect a whole lot. But uh, the whole plan is once I get that, making a, a sustained flare on that and the color starts to settle down starts to look a little better i'll switch over and then i'll start the blower from the this, uh, this, there it is there she just puffed back little flame coming out of the end we're going to have some good gas folks sorry i missed that but i'll leave this going for a minute okay we have the leads hooked up from the uh, uh the alternator uh, we got the positive uh, just clamped on there. Once again, the ends are dead ended on a piece of pine board down there, so they're not going to do nothing. So we've got the positive lead there on the positive, and way up at this end, we got the negative. That's all hooked in, clamped, secured. Looks good enough for me. Uh, our flare is getting better, She's getting a little tighter, and starting to knock knock some of the smoke down a little bit kind of a humid day so I expect to get some of it out so I am ready to switch over uh, to the I shook this down I gave her a thump with our handy dandy hydraulic hammer the two fingered one and we got a flare going we got this guy set up I'm gonna plug the uh, the blower in and uh, I can't use the manometer you see that's off. That's our line from the generator. I got a little can of helper right there to get that initial pop and pull the initial vacuum out, uh, through the line to get our gas. So we are good to go, I think. All right. 